you will not be able to see things because you will have your time replaced with foolishness that's how the Bible calls it every one of you has the imprint of the apostolic wisdom given to men oh, yes. the moment that apostolic wisdom that preaches Christ the apostolic wisdom that announces changes that announces moves it is an apostle that announces a change in the dimensions of the realm of the spirit not even a prophet when that apostolic wisdom misses in you you will begin to see the flaws in others you will begin to replace what you are supposed to say with what you are not supposed to say and you think you carry wisdom the apostolic wisdom that is in every child of God is in varying levels depending on your position in life as a pastor I have to form a relationship with each one of you I have to love you each one of you individually God is in your life through the scripture God is in your life through his magnificent presence that presence inside of your life that presence inside of you as a child of God cannot be manifested by what you think by what you say it can only be manifested yes. by what God says when you begin to operate in an area where God has left there will be failure You're teaching sir. there will be failure mm -hmm. when you begin to operate in realms where God is absent then it means you will not have the apostolic wisdom you will not have the overflowing prophetic anointing you will not have the evangelistic authority of God inside of you instead the devil will replace it with something else when he says I will answer and touch the desires of your heart the devil makes you to pray for needs needs is what you need in the physical realm but desire is in the realm of your thoughts desire I desire he says desire that you may prophesy amen So there are places where he says ask. There are places where he says seek. Oh, yes. There are places where he says knock. Oh yes. You have to know mm. when to ask. Amen. When to seek. Amen. And when to knock. Amen. Somebody put your hands for Jesus. You have to understand. Oh yes. When to decree. Mm. When to declare. Oh yes. When to be silent. Oh yes. The lack of this mm. is a lack of spiritual tools given to you by God for you to manifest on the earth. Amen. Our manifesting on the earth oh, yes. is not manifesting because I do business. Yes. It's not manifesting because I work. Oh, yes. It's not manifesting because I'm rich. Oh, yes. It is manifesting because Christ lives inside, inside of me. Amen. So that overflowing apostolic wisdom mm. is in each one of us. Amen. In what we do, mm. in what we say, 
Amen. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So these things that I am mentioning mm -hmm. open up your life to make prophetic judgments. Amen. Righteous judgments. Oh yes. Within you. Mm. So the power of grace, the power of his wisdom that resides inside of you flows out mm. to other people. Amen. That is why one river becomes four. Amen. Not four rivers becoming one. Amen. You are required oh, yes. to touch many spheres Amen. on earth. Oh, yes. You are required to touch many people oh, yes. on earth. Oh, yes. Your work is to go in the opposite direction of stealing, of killing, and of destroying. Amen. The Bible says he does what? He steals, he kills, and he destroys three kingdoms. How do we destroy? By our tongues. How do we destroy? By what we do unto others. What we say about others. What we move about others. And yet within, we think we are holy. Yet within, we think we are righteous. Yet within, we think we have taken the place of God. Speaking in tongues in church, but destroying one another. Speaking in tongues in church, oh, yes. but lacking the flow of mm. the wisdom that you received last Sunday. My God, your teaching, sir. So, we're about to pray. God sent me here to teach somebody something today. Amen. It's not going to be a long service today. There is an imprint that he wants in your spirit. Amen. This is why you have relationships with all many people. You have relationships with businessmen. You have relationships with medical doctors. Oh, yes. You have relationships with, with, with policemen. Oh, you yes. have relationships with a shopkeeper. Oh, you yes. have relationships with mm. supermarkets. Mm. After you go shopping, mm. after you have paid and gotten your things, they ask you, mm. do you have your loyalty number? Mm -hmm. Then you begin to punch in your loyalty number, which is attached to your name. And when it is punched in, you get points. Relationship. Amen. I have to have a relationship with each one of you differently at different levels Amen. there are some of you that cannot mm. just receive when they are seated in church mm. there are some of you that will require a phone call Amen. there are some of you that will require me to sleep on my belly Amen. there are some of you mm. that i need to show love Amen. love Amen. and that love often is misconstrued that love is often judged by members in the church mm who are in WhatsApp groups to watch what somebody else is going to say. Mm -hmm. Who are in WhatsApp groups mm -hmm. to watch what somebody is going to do. Mm -hmm. I am here to tell you, your journey with seeing God Amen. does not have a formula. Oh yes. A formula will always lead you to the right answer. Mm. But there has to be a subject for that formula to work. Amen. If it is mathematics, mm. we are talking about Pythagoras theorem, mm. there is a formula for it and it is specific. Amen. But with God it is different. Amen. One plus one is equal to two. Amen. But in the spiritual realm, one yes. plus one can mean ten. Amen. Two fish, mm -hmm. five loaves of bread mm. were supposed to feed mm. only a family of about ten people. How many people did two fish and five loaves feed? 5,000 5, people. Mm -hmm. One plus one in the spiritual realm can be a million. My God. He says, in me, mm -hmm. a thousand years is like one day to me. Amen. And one day is like a thousand years to me. Amen. Who are you My before him? 
talk to us, Dad. You wonder why things are not changing in your life. Oh, yes. It's because the prophetic tools mm. are slowly being killed mm. by your habit, by your attitude towards Amen. yourself mm. and your attitude towards others. Amen. When I came into ministry, I didn't know a lot of things. But I saw a lot of things. Amen. I've seen men of God hurt. I've seen men of God pained. I've seen men of God kill themselves. I've seen men of God leave the kingdom of God. As a man of God, I have learned to live in the realm of sacrifice. Amen. It is not until you reach the point that you can love somebody beyond their words. Amen. When you can love beyond attitudes. Oh, yes. When you can love beyond mm. judgments of people. Amen. The only way you will win is when you begin to understand in what dispensation you are living. Amen. Because the tools, the prophetic wisdom, oh, yes. the apostolic wisdom, oh, yes. the prophetic anointing, oh, yes. the evangelistic authority mm. of God mm. inside of you Amen. must be activated. Amen. It cannot be activated mm. when you are standing mm. in the wrong room. Oh yes, you're teaching God. This is the year mm. to radiate forevermore. Amen. We cannot radiate oh, yes. because we have no ability oh, yes. to produce mm. light of our own. Oh yes. The church mm. is represented by the moon. Mm -hmm. The sun mm. represents mm. Jesus. Amen. The light from mm. the sun mm. reflects mm. Ray, its rays goes upon what? The moon. So it, the moon does not have its own light. Mm -hmm. Its light is operated. Amen. Powerful. Its light is operated. Amen. Are you with me? We are. I feel the presence of God. Amen. The church receives its light from the sun. From Christ. Amen. The moon receives its light from the sun. Otherwise, it has no ability to give its own light. In this year of radiating forevermore, it means you will open up your spirit to receive the irradiating. There's a Amen. difference. Radiating and irradiating Amen. glory of God Amen. that falls upon your heart Amen. that falls upon mm. your soul Amen. then you remain in a condition of light because there is no hindrance mm. between the light source Amen. and yourself Amen. this was given to one mm. man in the old testament Amen. are we there It was given to one man in the Old Testament. But in the New Testament, it was given to everybody. So the old covenant mm. grace is not the grace that you must walk in. It is the wrong room. Because whatever you receive from it mm -hmm. must cease or must be renewed. Amen. Every sacrifice oh, yes. that you see your relatives doing at home, they call you so that you can renew it again. A priest in the temple once a year, in the great day of atonement, they slaughter the lamb that would be let go, would carry the sins of the people. But it had an expiry date. One year. One year. 
So the next year, the priest would have to come back, meaning that grace would cease. And this is what is happening to many church members. This is what is happening to many ministries. There are ministries that have a high hand on the people. Rules that you must follow. You violate out. You play around out. But some of you think and look at it and think it is weakness in a ministry. Yet, what is being applied is the scripture upon your life. So yeah. that you can learn to enter and yeah. receive the irradiating power of God oh, yes. forever and ever. Amen. But you don't see it. When the priest went there and came back, that glory ceased. After one year, if they did go, then there would be trouble. There is nothing about renewing covenants that is apostolic. It carries no wisdom. Yes. Nothing. When Jesus Christ died on the cross, he opened the door for all of us to go in. He opened the door for all of us to go and receive the irradiating power of God. Amen. The irradiating glory of God. Oh, yes. But the lack of it, placing your life on ministers of the gospel that have an old covenant theory mm -hmm. in them, will mean that you will need to be, keep going to them. You will keep need that anointing oil. You will keep needing that water because you are attached to an old covenant grace that does not move by faith, that does not move by the power of the blood of Jesus, but moves on prophecy, moves on wrong doctrine, moves on you being told who you are and who are not. He says, where two or three are gathered in his name, he's present. Amen. Meaning, he recognized a group of three people as church. Amen. So long as they are talking about him. Oh, yes. On the road to Emmaus, right after his resurrection, he met two men walking. And these two men, were still stuck to the old covenant glory. They still did not see the resurrection. They did not see him who has resurrected in the midst of them. That is the same case with you. When you go to business, when you go to work, when you go to your relatives, when you go everywhere, Jesus is talking next to you. But you are still having the old covenant theory inside of you. Are you there? Are you in church or you went home? in church. Second Corinthians. I just want to highlight that before we move. Second Corinthians chapter 12. Second Corinthians chapter 12. Glory be to God. Second Corinthians chapter 12. Are you there? Glory yes. be to God. So, Second Corinthians chapter 3. Verse 12. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. And not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. They could not look at the irradiating power of God that came upon Moses. Moses went into the presence of God. When he came out, there was a light that was in him. But that light was upon Moses only. It was not upon the children of Israel. Because it was only him who entered into the presence of God so that he could bring a message to the people. He's saying, that regime, the Bible says, was abolished. Today, all of you must go into the presence of God so that you come out transfigured. You come out with the light of God. 
So we have been taught by the devil to apply things the opposite. You go start your business, then you come to God. Yet I'm teaching you, start in the spirit, look at the words, and then get your business out of there. You're doing it opposite. In the Old Testament, they would see something. They had to do something because there was a law. And a law is limiting. They had to do something. Then they see goodness. Today it's different. We see his goodness. And that goodness is what leads us to him. Why can't people see your goodness? Why do you think you are more perfect than another person? Why do you think you carry glory more than another? What is the result of your gossip? What is the result of what's missing in your heart? Remember, the fruit of the Spirit did not exist in those days. You kill my son, I kill yours. I am God, you hurt me, I deal with you. No mercy. I deal with you. After dealing with you, then I will feel good. And he deals with you and tells you that I am God. The Old Testament carries what I would call some strong statements from God that sound arrogant. But in the New Testament, you don't find that. The New Testament, it is mercy. Mercy. Amen. But there is a fierceness in that mercy. Amen. A fierceness. He says, when I looked, I saw a lamb as if it had been slain. But when I heard, I heard the voice of a roaring lion. The devil has taught us to judge others' sin, but not our own sin. We often do not see our lives. We do not see what's there in. So today, we are continuing to learn in a service that is beyond ministry, a service for the sons of God. Amen. For you to be able to understand the vision, the vision, what is truly inside. Because you can look so holy on the outside. Mm. You can look so glorified on the outside. Mm. But inside you're rotten. Mm. When you wash clothes and hang them out on the line, why do you turn them inside out? Why do you turn them inside out when you're hanging them? Why? Huh? So that it will not be discolored. So that it will, may not be discolored. Yes. That's what we do with life. On the outside, we protect how we look. We protect our image. We protect everything about ourselves. But on the inside, we don't pay attention. When you will stand on the altar of judgment, when you will stand before God, there will be angels that you will see that you have never seen in your life. Yet they were with you every day recording. They will turn you inside out. How will you be when you are turned inside out? That thing that you have in your heart today is a dispensation where you have to drop that thing before it drops you. Amen. You have to leave that thing before Amen. it leaves you. Nobody is perfect, but we depend on the irradiating power and light of God Amen. to change our lives, yes. to move into another dimension. Amen.
So we are going to learn something today. Last week, we learned about those things. Did you go through them? Did you do the homework on the works of the flesh? What is, what is, open, open Galatians 5. Did you do the works of the flesh, 19? 19 is the number for what? This is the grace of God. My name is Pastor Philip, senior pastor at the Elohim Embassy. All of you who are joining us online, sons and daughters from South Africa, from Zambia, from Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya, at large, those of you who are with us, may the blessing of the Lord be with you. May the glory of the Lord be around you. May you be lifted wherever you are. This service is for you. There are some services that are just for the sons of God. There are some services that are beyond ministry. This is one of such services that will catapult you into grace. As you are watching us online, I pray that the grace of God flowing from the altar of the Elohim Embassy Church through a river of life will touch you today in the name of Jesus. So let's welcome everybody online with a clap in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Elohim.